Hello there. With this latest video, you'll be able to improve in just a matter of seconds, honestly. That's how fast it'll be. Now, I'm not the highest rate player. I start off at like silver and beta, and then my highest is my peak is diamond one. However, this video, regardless, will still help you improve. Let's jump right in with the new agent, Clove. Let's start off with how to hold a position, shall we? Usually when people hold a position, they like don't really aim correctly. They like over, over aim or under aim. For example, like holding it too close or holding it a little bit too far, you know? Expecting like wide swing. However, you should just hold it like right here. And then you'll usually just get the kill because it's like a little bit in the middle. You don't want it to out and to in. You could just hold any angle like that and you'll probably hit their heads. Moving on, let's talk about strafing. With strafing, you kind of want to have a 1 2 sequence. 1 2. And etc. You kind of want to do this so you're always not having your bullets go all over the place and moving while you're shooting. So you just go all over the place. How this works is you kind of just use your AMD to just move around and just headshot constantly, allowing you to be able to counter strafe them, outplay your opponents, voice and headshots. It's very good and very useful. Something that kind of goes along with strafing is having calm aim. With it, you'll be able to have much more accurate shots. Usually with calm aim, you kind of just want to relax your mouse. Not hold your mouse too tightly with a like tight grip where you're shaking all over the place and being kind of impatient with your gameplay, game sense, game style. Usually you just want to take things slow and have really calm, take your time, and be patient. Like, that way you'll always precise the headshot, not just go kind of crazy and do your own thing. In the range, there are many useful things, like this all helps you aim and get headshots and whatever. However, something you kind of want to learn is how like you can aim and burst fire over the place. Like, if you do more than three to four shots, it'll go over all over the place. So typically you want to like test out and see just how bad or good uh, your bursts are and understand how they work with each different gun. And uh, yeah, just see how it all goes. This will improve your aim and help you be able to understand the game a little bit more. And not just shoot up here rather in the middle. Another thing to help you improve your aim is when taking a gunfight, some people instinctively just crouch and then they're not lined up on the head anymore. But if you do that, you'll just miss the headshot and it sometimes can just lose you fights entirely. So, a thing that some people can do to help improve their aim is just stop using it until you are able to uh, actually line up on the head when you walk around you can understand. I kind of find this a little bit counterproductive since you're not actually crouching anymore, but if it helps improve your aim and gets you out of that like mindset to use it, I think you should uh, do it and practice it, try it out, maybe in deathmatch or something. See how much it improves your aim. So generally, when peeking, like wide swing for example, if you hold W and A, the enemy will be more likely to like be able to shoot you, which is what a lot of people do. But if you just sprint out with like A or just D, your enemy won't be able to hit all their shots on you and then you'll be able to kill them before they kill you. You should try implementing your gameplay and see how much the improvement is of just holding A or just holding D when wide swing. So for the following three, it's kind of a team oriented thing because some people are not just not good with playing with their team. So for example, what I mean is there's a map on the top left of your corner screen. You could adjust it, you can make it zoomed in, zoomed out. And what some people generally tend to do is not look at it, they don't use it, they don't see where people are on the map. And if you do this, also a quick uh, thing, in two days I'm going to be releasing a video of my montage clip plays at 12pm on 31st. So if you're interested in that, please go check it out. In some of the following clips, you'll see how bad it goes. Is there, do we know if there's one, oh. Be quiet! That's fine, I, I, I took the guy who was a uh, dish. Go, go to his body. Hey, dog. Never mind. Another thing you can do to help improve with your aim is playing with your team, playing off of them, swinging together, playing together with them in general, and not usually playing on your own and lurking, just permanently dying. 
Here's a clip of someone that wasn't playing with their team on Diffuse. And you run on the right. Nice. Nice. Just ups your odds. Playing with your team is very important. And last but not least, this one's kind of like some people just find it a little obnoxious to do or lazy or don't want to do. But using your mic and like team chat allows you to actually be able to communicate with your team members and let things, let people know what's happening. For example, like Curry, the rank one player, he's been rank one multiple times. He does it and every single game and he's able to coach his team basically to wins even while he's dead sometimes. Thank you for watching the video and please do let me know what improvements you get, whether it be your aim, game sense, game, like, in general. Please let me know. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Please subscribe.